in this video, we are going to look at the peanut ball and how this can really help you in your labor with moving your baby into your pelvis and then moving them down through the birth canal. This is an amazing piece of equipment that you might not have come across or you may have come across before. But I'm gonna show you a few positions that you can use um, and how this can benefit you. So to start, we'll just start by looking at the pelvis so you understand how the pelvis moves during labor. Um, and that will help you to piece together how that can help this and help you. So this is your pelvis or a pelvis, my model pelvis. And the pelvis is not one solid structure. It's made up of multiple bones. And the reason it's made up of multiple bones is so that during labor, it can move and flex to help your baby navigate its way through the birth canal to be born. So the bones that we have in the pelvis that you need to know about are the ilium. You don't need to remember the names of these, but this is the ilium, the ischium, the pubic symphysis is at the front. And then at the back, we have got the sacrum, which is at the bottom of the lumbar spine. So during labor, during the first stage of labor, we want to get your baby into your pelvis and get them down into your pelvis. This is before they start moving through the birth canal, which is the second stage of labor. So to do this, we need to get you into a position where you are able to open your hips as much as possible. My model pelvis doesn't actually open that far, but yours will open up a lot more than this. In fact, it opens up by 28% if you're not laying on your back. During the second stage of labor, so first of all, what that will do in terms of opening up the top bit of your pelvis, it will close off the, um, pelvic outlet, which is down here. So these two bones, the ischium will come together, not completely, but they close off together. And that opens up the top part of your pelvis. During the second stage of labor, when your baby's coming down through the birth canal, we want this to be closing off a bit and then your pelvic outlet to be opening, which makes more room. So you see, we need to be doing things to help your baby to navigate the bones as they move and flex. So when we think about women in labor, we often see them on their backs pushing, right? And that is where essentially they're, they're laying in this position. Now what we often see is laying on our backs, feet up in stirrups. In the second stage of labor, that's just gonna close off your pelvic outlet, which is here. So what we want to do is do two different positions. One for the first stage of labor, when you want to get your baby into your pelvis and one for the second stage of labor, when you want to get your baby out through the birth canal, okay? So for the first stage of labor, it is literally as simple as this. We want you to have your knees wide apart because this is gonna close off the pelvic outlet. It's gonna close this down and it's gonna open up your ilium, which is at the top of your pelvis. So lying back, having your knees open, is what we want and it's as simple as that. When you're in the second stage of labor and your baby's coming down to the birth canal, we want you to have your knees together as much as possible. And that means the pelvic outlet down here will be open, okay? And the peanut ball will help you do that. So I'm now gonna give you a few positions that you can try and you can use during labor to get your baby into your pelvis in the first stage of labor and then get them down through the birth canal in the second stage of labor. And this is particularly useful if you have an epidural because it gives you extra support. Okay, so the first position we want to do is a seated lunge. So this is for the first stage of labor to help your pelvis to open at the top. So literally you can be sitting up in a bed or in a chair and or on the sofa and you're just gonna wrap your one leg around the front of the peanut ball and you're gonna put one leg over the peanut ball. So this opens up the top of your pelvis, which is really, really good. The next position is supported hands and knees. So I'm gonna show you this for the first and second stage of labor because it's so simple to adjust for each position. So first of all, we're gonna just come down onto the peanut ball into the middle of it so it takes our weight. And then for the first stage of labor, when you want baby into moving into your pelvis, we're gonna take the knees wide, toes together, and that is it. So you're on all fours essentially, um, but you're taking your knees nice and wide. 
when you're in the second stage of labor and you want baby to be moving down the birth canal to change the shape of your pelvis, just bring your knees together, feet apart. Now we're gonna do the side laying squat. So once again, we want the peanut ball really high up um, between our thighs to open up the top of the pelvis. So taking the middle bit of the peanut ball, rolling it up so it's between your thighs like this. And you're literally gonna lie down and keep it between your thighs like this, um, which opens up the top of your pelvis, um, which can be really, really nice. Keeping your feet wide as well, so making sure that your feet are not coming together. So feet and knees wide and change sides every 30 minutes. So moving on to the second stage of labour, where we want your baby to be able to move down the birth canal, we want to bring the knees together to open up the pelvic outlet. So the first position we're going to do is side laying, but with our knees together. So we've just done side laying with knees apart for the first stage, now knees together. And all we do is adjust the peanut ball so it goes down to the bottom of our legs, so it goes between our ankles. Bring the knees together and lie on our sides like so. And this opens up the pelvic outlet, which is the bottom of the pelvis, which makes more room for your baby to be born. Change sides every 30 minutes. And if you want to be more comfortable, you can put a cushion between your knees. You can put a cushion here to lie on, anything you need to prop yourself up. And then we've done this already, but I'm gonna just demonstrate again so it's really, really clear. This is for the second stage of labor. So this is um, supported hands and knees, but opening up the pelvic outlet. So we're gonna take our weight onto the, pel onto the peanut ball, bring our knees together, feet apart, and that will open up the pelvic outlet to give more space for your baby to be born.